G'day guys, welcome. So you've turned on your trusty desktop. You've been using it for years. You thought, oh, I'll do a backup. But you never get quite get around to it. <laughs> then one day, yep, you guessed it, blue screen. Can't start it. Dead as a doornail. You tried everything. New CMOS battery. New boot sector. Check the cables. Nope. She just does not want to boot up. You think, oh dear, there goes all my data. Well, all's not completely lost. Take your hard drive out of your computer. Let me know if you have trouble doing this. It's quite simple. Okay, make sure it's turned off. Pull it out, present it to yourself like this. Now, this is an older style one. Hopefully yours is the same, using the IDE pins. Okay, standard old power supply here. Right, if yours is a SATA, i.e. a much smaller plug on there something along the size of this SATA cable here then you'll need to do this slightly differently which I'll upload shortly at the moment we'll concentrate on this IDE okay so again you'll need your hard drive and you may or may not need a power supply I'll get to that in a minute so what we want to do this is a tricky bit the hardest bit. You've got to get another computer. I know your computer's broken but you need to find another computer. Preferably your desktop. Okay. This is my trusty old second second hand DC7600. Show use for this sort of work. Okay. Take the cover off. Make sure your power supplies pulled out of it. And have a look at the motherboard. Don't worry about too much in here. There's a only two, two things you need to worry about to get this job done. Just run through them now, just be with me, sorry, while I zoom into uh, what we need to look at. Now, what was in here is a hard drive, a DVD drive, okay? Now, most older style DVD drives, if I pull this up, are connected using an IDE ribbon. Alrighty, so what you can do is pull the IDE ribbon out of your DVD drive. And that's what we're going to use to hook up to your once broken hard drive from your desktop. Okay. Also, what comes out of the DVD drive is power supply. So you pull that out of your DVD drive and you present it with power supply and an IDE ribbon. If you don't have a hard a DVD drive with a with a ribbon in it, and you've only got the one ribbon in the computer. This one only has one as it's a SATA controlled hard drive which is this cable here. Okay, now what you'll see here I'll just zoom in, you'll see your two ports for the ribbons. Okay, you'll need to purchase one of these standard CD, hard drive, etc. ribbons. Computer shop, Harvey Norman online etc. They're really really cheap. Okay. And if you need to install one of these yourself, you'll see it has a slightly raised section on one side of the ribbon. Simply slot that into this one's going into the blue one. There's a blue and a black one here. It doesn't I don't think it really matters but I believe the blue one is a primary one so stick it in the in the blue one. If one's being used for the hard drive of your computer in this particular desktop at the moment, then obviously put it into the second one that's free. Okay. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so what we're left with is a power supply. Just pull that out of there. And a ribbon. Okay, so simply a matter of Connecting the ribbon up to the hard drive you remove from your computer, making sure that the slightly raised groove is pointing the right side. Push them in, get your power supply, make sure it's up the right way. Push your power supply in and gently just sit it right there. Okay. Now I'm not going to put the cover back on, there's no need to as I'm doing some data recovery. Plug in your power supply, 
don't touch anything on the motherboard obviously and don't drop any spanners in there or screwdrivers so turn the computer on excuse me while I just zoom up to the monitor so I can have a look at the monitor okay you'll most likely get a screen telling you that a few things have changed etc which they obviously have so I'll hit F1 as it says hit F1 to save changes so what's going to happen now is with a bit of luck on your side your computer's going to turn on you can access your my computer icon on your desktop this is Windows XP on this particular desktop okay so find your my computer open her up and if all's gone well on your side you're presented with two hard drives so this is the one for the C will generally be the one that's allocated to the desktop itself and D is the one from your broken desktop which you can now access as it's just a secondary hard drive as far as your computer's aware so what you want to do is open it up find the directory that refers to you it'll be something like users or my documents or anything like that so locate it and what you can do is find all of your files in this computer so once you've found your files that you want simply right click them hit the copy button and what I do is paste it straight onto the desktop just like I did with the um, laptop hard drive tutorial I just gave so it's now going to put all those files onto this computer you don't have to put them on the desktop you can drag them straight to a thumb drive or a backup hard drive or anything like that but in essence in essence what you've done is recover all of your personal documents only from the hard drive of your broken desktop which I'm sure you're very happy about don't forget to do those backups in the future <laughs> okay if you need some info on how to attach a SATA one drop me a comment subscribe if you like I'll be doing a video for that shortly any other questions please let me know good luck and uh, happy data recovery okay see you later guys bye bye